Well, this is the second take of my uh, unboxing video for the TrendNet TV IP110 WN web camera. I guess you could call it a webcam. Anyway, uh, the first video that I did uh, somehow got corrupted. So I've already peeled off the wrap in the first video, but I've reboxed it, so it's just as I got it, most mostly. <laughs> so uh, some of the features on this that I thought were cool, I don't know if you can actually read any of this or not, but uh, it's got like a camera stand that comes with it. Um, my primary, primary use for this is going to be uh, to monitor my fish tank at work. And it's not, resolution wise, it's not that great. It's 640 by 480, but um, mwave, spelled M W A V E dot com, uh, mwave.com, had a deal last week on this thing for 60 bucks. Typically it's 80 bucks. Um, and I also had some points, some mwave points to, um, get it for 40 bucks actually it's 38 something but anyway uh the cool thing is this is a standalone so you don't have to have a computer once you've got it set up um it does wireless bg and n uh, yeah so let's go ahead and get to it i'll give you the if you want to see the back side of the packaging anyway Go ahead and crack this open. And this is just strictly an unboxing video. Okay, now I'm going to have to drop the camera here so I can actually get the box within the box out. <clears throat> okay. And I think Chew approves. Chew, what do you think? Okay. Anyway, so when you open it up, it will look approximately like this. So you get your little bag of crap, outdated drivers, worthless manual most likely, um, but importantly, the antenna, right? So don't just pitch that. Uh, this thing runs off an AC source, unfortunately. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter, but it'd be cool if it had a built-in battery. And this and this are the parts pieces for the mount. So the thing that I thought was interesting about the mount is it's actually pretty damn durable. It's made out of some pretty thick ass steel. Um, obviously you can't get an idea of the heft, but it, it's pretty good. So I don't think the camera's gonna be falling down anytime soon on that. Um, so. This other bag is all the little bits and pieces you need to attach the camera to the stand. And then we go the uh, camera itself. Go ahead and pop that out so you can get a look at it. Um, pretty much looks like every other camera, I guess. I don't know. Uh, it's nice because it's got wireless and plugged in, uh, like, whatever, uh, RJ45 jack right there. And then that jack is for the power. So, network, power. Um, yeah, so, not too bad. And if you can uh, score it for 60, that's a good deal because normally it would be like 80. So... Anyway, that's it for this uh, quick unboxing, and I'll post some results, but don't expect too much because it is a 640 by 480 camera. So, you know, it's probably not going to be that great, but it does what it will do what I need it to do. Oh, the other thing uh, is that you can actually chain these. Not that I will be using this feature, but you can actually chain up to, I think it was 20 or 30 something uh, cameras. It's kind of weird. So like if you wanted to set up uh, monitoring at your home, that would definitely be cool. Although I wouldn't have, to, I wouldn't want to drop, uh, you know, 20 times 60 bucks. 
for that. Anyway, that's it. And I think Chu is going to take us out on that. Chu. All right.